So today, um, we're going to be taking a bike ride down one of the most well-known bike trails in America, uh, the, the Greenway. The Greenway may sound familiar to you, even if you've never walked or biked it before, and that may be because it isn't confined to just West Ashley. The Greenway actually goes all the way across bridges, through Charleston, and Mount Pleasant. But that's not where it stops. As a matter of fact, the Greenway isn't meant to stop. That's right, it's actually a continuous trail along the East Coast. It even connects Maine and Florida. So, easily my favorite part about this entire bike trail is it's diverse. It's completely and utter diversity. What do I mean by that? Well, if you start on the Johns Island side, which I always do, um, the first place you start at is immediately, basically in the middle of a marsh, I wanna say. You know, there's, there's salt water, you know, the ocean's right over yonder, and it's beautiful. You see seagulls, swans, you know, and uh, on the weekends, if it's low tide, you even see fishermen out here cast netting and fishing at this beautiful place. But it's not just, you know, water the whole way through. Whether you're local or not, everyone will probably enjoy my favorite part of the trail for things like the smell of sea or the marine aesthetic. And who knows, maybe you'll even see some local sea life. I don't know how good the, I don't know how good the quality is. But if you look right over there, you can see what it looks like. I, I don't know, they're kind of like pelicans, but they're not nearly as big and they have pink wings. I have no idea what these are. Incredible. After enjoying the company of some local wildlife and getting my fair share of breaths of fresh coastal air, it's time to say goodbye to the ocean life for the time being and hello to the next section of the bike trail, as I like to refer to it. Before, when I said diversity, I really meant it because just a second ago I was in the middle of the ocean, I was in a marsh surrounded by salt water and birds and marsh grass and everything and now I'm in the middle of a forest and the roads paved so when I said diversity I really really meant it I really do love the paved road it's probably one of the best additions to the bike trail and every couple years or so they actually add on to it further and further along so it actually is constantly improving the ride every time you go back which is really great At this part of the journey, we come across the Clemson Soil Testing Facility. This place is owned by Clemson and funded for the sole purpose of having citizens come here. Uh, regular people can come here and have their dirt tested to see how good it is and how good it would be for growing plants. So if you're ever starting to make a garden or something and you have no idea how good your soil is, you can just bring it here. So this is ha has to be my second favorite part of the bike trail and so this specifically right here um basically the bike trail cuts two parts of the same creek in half and the water flows underneath through those two pipes and we're thinking well, what's so great about that well, what i really like is when the tide's a bit higher you can see whirlpools spawn above these pipes now the tide's kind of low right now so you can't really see it however uh, you can see the water just kind of Blowing in there. I'm gonna get a closer shot. So this is the uh, pipe. One of the biggest things about this bike trail is the fact that it is supposed to go from the tip of Maine to the, the foot of Florida. So that being the case, it kind of just goes wherever it can. So in the case of this segment of the bike trail, it's actually really, really close to an incredibly busy highway called Savannah Highway or Highway 17. And it's really only about 500 feet that way. Pretty crazy that there's all this neat stuff this nearby. My beautiful, beautiful paved road has ended. So here we are at the fourth mile, uh, halfway through the trail. Um, 
and this is actually where I'm going to be turning around for today. One part forest, one part grassy plain, and in the middle a big highway. And I think that really, really describes the greenway in one, one good sentence. And with that good sentence, my whole journey comes to an end. Although I do have to ride all the way back. And I got some good shots of the sunset for y'all to look at. Just so you can see how beautiful this place is when it's just about to become night. Actually, been on this here bike trail at night. Ah! But uh, I always imagined what the sunset here would look like. There you have it, right there. Uh, this camera really doesn't do it any justice. Really, it doesn't. Uh, on, on the camera, it looks like bright yellow, but like to me, it looks like like a blood orange.